Reporting today is the sudden death of the South African legendary musician and songwriter Stephen Kekana. The legend died in the early hours of Thursday, 1st of July 2021 at the age of 63 at Petersburg Provincial Hospital due to COVID-19 related complications. His manager, Kolani Mazosi, said that he died while still working on him. The legendary musician will be laid to rest in his hometown in Zebedile near Polokwane on Thursday. The memorial service organized by the Lipopo Artist Movement will be held on Tuesday at Library Gardens in Polokwane. Behind the scenes, engagements by the government are continuing to accord the late Stephen Kakana a befitting burial. Following news of his passing, Debejo Stephen Kekana was born in the Metial Transvaal on 4th August 1958 and was a South African singer and songwriter. He started his musical career in the 1980s and he attended and completed his studies at UNISA. He lost his sight at the age of five and attended a school for the blind in Petersburg. During his school years, he developed a love for singing and became a member of amateur groups during the teenage years. The late Stephen Kekana was a qualified advocate and recently received an honorary doctorate from UNISO. His manager, Tolani, said that before his death, they were planning to do a concert for him as the Take Your Love singer wanted to record a live DVD of his work. Kekana was a university graduate with a B.A. Jewish and a Bachelor of Law degree holder. He was an advocate and a lecturer in labor law at the University of South Africa. Stephen Kekana was one of the founding members of the Southern African Disabled Musician Association. The multi-award winning Kekana received more than 70 Golden Disc Awards and was a pioneer who was the stands for success. Kekana's discography includes 33 albums between 1977 and 2018. He worked with the likes of the late Ray Piri, Nana Coyote, June Nina, and Hotline featuring PJ Tandeka Powers. In 1979 and 1980, Kekana won what was then known as the Saab Black Music Award for Best Male Vocalist. His Racing My Family was a big hit in Europe in 1980 and in total, Kekana had recorded more than 40 albums. His songs The Bushman and Feel So Strong featuring Hotline were hits on the Springbok radio chart, radio chart, the semi-official South African chart of the time, reaching number 13 and number 16 in 1980 and 1983 respectfully. Amazing story that you had and you're telling me about your, your two kids. How old are they now? 
Oh, uh, they are good. They are, they are big sisters. Oh, oh, is it girls? Yeah, they are big sisters. Oh, wow. When I, when I make kids, I make kids for money's sake. We <laughs> <laughs> must get married and pay no one. Stephen Kekana was married to Nseki Kekana. However, Steve never spoke much of his marital life publicly. Besides, he had a cousin named Johannes Kekana. Further information regarding his family members and parents are yet unknown. According to the Wiki South Africa, the estimated net worth of Stephen Kekana was 1 million. He earned a massive fortune throughout his career as a professional singer. <laughs> 